and welcome back to part two. With only two teams left to go, let's see who's going to win it all. We are here with contestant number four, and we are with noodles with oodles. Oodles with noodles? Noodles for your oodles. <laughs> noodles for your oodles. Uh -huh. What are the three main ingredients that you guys have bought? Uh, spring onion, well, chicken, and uh, garlic. And garlic, yeah. okay. Pretty, pretty simple. All right, are you guys ready? Once you are, we're going to have 25 minutes on the clock. Go, 25 yeah. minutes on the clock, let's go. And here we are, we got Debbie just cracking open the noodles. And then, whoa, look at the boys going. It's my first time. It's his first That's time, true. but he knows how, he's a born natural. I think, I think we should right. mention that the reason why we suck with chicken is, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And also, Tom used to be a frat boy, he ate a lot of chicken. I have no idea what she's talking about. Before, for our other contestants, they boiled the water first. Is there a strategy behind what you guys are doing? No, we just like to take our time. Oh. Taking their time. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I could just relax. Is this going on Snapchat? It's going um, oh, look thing at him. called Instagram. Well, I'm quite interesting, uh, interested in, in this group because you finally have like a, a good strong protein uh, with the, the chicken thigh. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, of course, with the time limit, we have to make sure that it's fully cooked. Um, so if the guys aren't used to cooking, I think that's something that we need to be careful about. Are you looking forward to the chicken? Yeah, of course. Why? Why are you asking me that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask anyone else that. Well, why me? Um, it's not... It's not <clears throat> fried chicken, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. You do great at pouring, Debbie. I do great at starting a bloody... Yes! Yes! Okay! okay. Wow. It worked! I turned on a thing! Half, half a spoon of that. Salt? Yeah. Mixing Give it like a minute. Catch. It's always about mixing with your hands. What okay. is it? Alright. <laughs> so a little bit more salt. For further processing later, we're going to just kind of run the noodles after they're done through a cold bath to keep the texture. So it's not going to be you know, soggy all the way through. They've got to put that chicken on because they've only got 16 minutes. So they need to start cooking that chicken. Look at Debbie. She has like a cooking stand oh, going on. This is what real so chefs do. Doesn't have to be She's Already ready. Alright, so oh I can really smell the chicken and the garlic. He's just flipping that baby over. So judges. Process going on here. Oh, deep sigh. What What's Victoria? Going on? Henry, are you so upset about my chicken comments? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Any thoughts with the cooking of the chicken? The, the frying of the chicken? Yeah, fried yeah. chicken. Because um, we love fried chicken. The Koreans do too. Well, it smells really good. Um, I'm starting to see some browning, which is a good sign. Okay. Um, and it smells really good in the room as well. Yeah. Hey, Victoria, we'll just try a piece right now. I think it's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would love salmonella. Yeah, you should. You love it. We have our meagering noodles. Oh, you can definitely see the browning, as Tina said. Oh, just look at that. It looks like fried chicken. Five minutes left, so finish up. Try to try what dish? Yeah, this one. What is it? This, the chicken <laughs> dish. It's fried noodles. Yeah. They're doing simple, like, Chinese fried noodles. All right. chicken, which is... Asian fried! Asian fried. Oh, why? AZN. You know, what's, what's really interesting is they have definitely rebelled against, you know, everything that's been going on, and they chose not to use any the ingredients given in the meat grain packages. So this is going to be interesting to, to see and taste. I thought you were going to say, I've chosen to rebel by not being original at all. <laughs> Two minutes. I would never. Two minutes. Two minutes left, Load up guys. on the chicken. That's what they like. I really like how this group has set up a station where they, they, they have the raw meats on one side and then the cooking on the other. And they've sort of built a little uh, working factory. You can never go wrong with bring onions and garlic and that's what we thought we'd go with because you know noodles we're Asians we're gonna go traditional you can't go wrong with this that's right I know I'm not Asian but it's okay no problem were you left without a fork <sighs> I again left out, but it's okay I have a fork now I'm ready to eat chicken looks good nicely browned and um, it's 
smells quite good. I agree, it does look traditional. Although not my tradition, but it does look traditional. Looks good. I'm ready to eat, let's do this. All right, eat. dig in guys, <laughs> cross your fingers. A question mark appearing above his head. And spitting out or wiping? Wiping very slowly. <laughs> I think it's a little bit oily, but the chicken is done quite well. It's quite tender, uh, nicely seasoned, uh, very simple, which I like. Uh, the noodles I'm not so impressed with. Um, they're a little bit basic. Um, but overall, I think good effort um, with the chicken. I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised about the chicken. Um, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's really good. I was, I was actually expecting it to be undercooked, but you guys got it just right. Um, and the noodles, I, I think I, I think they could have been cooked a little longer. So even though it's it is maybe safe, it is good. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like a pretty good result for Team Noodles for your oodles. With four teams out of the way, let's see if our final team can make a dish worthy of the Disaster Chef title. You're feeling great. It looks like you guys are ready. Yeah, we are so ready. let us know what the three ingredients that you guys have are. Talent. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're funny. So on top of talent. A Korean. These are overpriced. Yeah. Eighty dollar. Korean. So we strawberries. got strawberries. We got the cheapest eggs, so it's kind of like a juxtaposition kind of thing. Okay. These are eggs. You what? have eggs, but it's like cracked already. So, so what? Okay. They're gonna be cracked anyways, right? Okay. It's gonna come out the same anyways. And we have M and or M's. These, yeah. So with these three ingredients and the first most important ingredient, we are going to make magic right now in the kitchen. All right, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. We have 25 minutes on the clock, guys. Come on, let's go and let's start. So already with the last team, you can really feel the excitement in the air. We have Chef already singing. We have Claudia, the quiet little buzzling bee. And then of course we always have the middle guy actually doing nothing. I'll have a college education, that's all I can do for my life. <laughs> now, what I find really interesting about this group is they're using sweet products. We have strawberries, we have M&M's, so I am very interested in what they're going to do. Uh, so, hot water's going on, pot they can't seem to turn on. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, so they're doing something new. They're actually just putting in the ramen noodles before it's the water's even boiled yet. Another scientific reason for that. Sorry, right. okay. Got it. I'm not a scientist. We okay. wanted to breathe a little bit because we need the oxygenation to, to, to trigger some sort of delicious mechanism. Right. You can tell these are real chefs right here. Alright. So they've added flour and egg together. What is this? Just, just a little bit. They're adding a little bit more flour into the more, egg. More, 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 more. And they're just feeding yep. the okay. There's That's a lot good. of teamwork going on. Going. If you've seen yeah. Voltron or know what Voltron is, there's more than one component of Voltron. And in a way, this is like ramen Voltron. What was your inspiration for this dish? Inspiration? Desperation. Yes. <laughs> you guys messed this up really badly, I'll be honest. I'll, I don't want to be- What happened? Here. Why? You guys added- You guys started mixing before I put the water in. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. you want to start over? Okay. With that? With a different egg. So, yes, 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 yes. 19 minutes. That's fine. We have, we enough, we have plenty perfect, of time. Perfect. We have plenty of time. I'm going to do strawberries. Can someone start doing the other egg thing? Fortunately, the mixing process began before the water. So, with only 19 minutes left, they need to start all over again. Okay. So, as you can tell, you know what? Chef Ariston, he's, he's, you can tell he's a great chef. He is oh, multitasking. Man. As a male chef, guys, he's talking, he's teaching, and he's cutting. And all this is a single father. As a single father of five, Claudia being an amazing chef, she's defying all logic and she's beating the eggs with a knife. So now as we can see from the egg, it's got a more of a smoother texture than a lumpy one. Um, in Italy, they say it needs to be al dente. Al dente, al dente yes. and this is what I'm going for because Italians, they know how to you know, do noodles. Okay, so in Italy, al dente means you still have a bite to it. Yes. So, so they've actually just added the, you've added the strawberries. Yes, we have. We've added sugar. Mm -hmm. All added over Josh's egg. floor, by the way. It's an expensive studio floor. 
Guys, I do feel like the pot is, um, the pan's a little too hot now. You might burn whatever it right. is you're... Let's give it a break. Kinda... Uh, you might want to put it on the side just for safety reasons. M&M's. M&M's are being thrown into the noodles. Hands are being flown, flung everywhere. I don't know what's going on. My heart is pounding. I'm actually scared right now. Cold oil, cold pan. Cold Stove is not on, guys. Stove is not on. What are they about to do? I have no idea. So this is very, this is a hot pan right now. Oil. And they put the M&M's concoction in there. Seven minutes left, guys. This is what's happening. They are actually frying noodles with and eggs chocolate. and sugar and chocolate and strawberry. Okay. Hey, gaming all over. If you're watching this on the live stream. I'm using a tea method where things get hotter as you put, oh yeah, as things, you yeah, make things hotter, hot. Okay. It's okay, careful. So Claudia, Claudia, tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now. I don't know. I don't know. I just hate it. This is... So, so uh, guys, just to let you know, this is a pan that will stick. This is a non-stick pan, but this one will stick. I'm a huge fan of desserts. I love chocolates and strawberries. I've never had it with noodles this way before. So I think they'll probably get full marks for creativity. Okay. But we'll see about taste. Okay, so Henry, you've been very quiet over here. Your face slightly uh, distorted. Yeah. What is going on in your mind? I'm cautious. I, mean, I have no idea how this is going to taste. It smells like a breakfast <laughs> dessert here. Um, I can really smell the chocolate that's happening right now. They are literally trying off the same spatula that they're gonna be serving us in. I guess this is a new method. I've never seen anybody using strawberry leaves like this. Is it edible? Listen, if you try hard enough, anything's edible. You know, newspaper, paper mache, anything really. Tension is flying high as the, t as the time is winding down. Two minutes left. We have a burning stove. Guys, so much is happening here. There is smoke. There's just no fire yet, but I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh guys, they are dumping the sugar water into the noodles. Okay, well tell me a little bit about the inspiration that brought this. Okay, the inspiration for my ram cake is happiness. As you see, <laughs> this is a smiley face. Yeah, consisting of really overpriced strawberries, and uh, which are from Korea, and M&Ms. Okay. Water. Um, is a devil's face. Ah. A devil's face, wow. So we have breakfast, so we have dessert, we combine it together, we get dessert. It. it makes me think of Mother's Day. Mother's Day. The it looks pick. like someone took a shit and then fried it. <laughs> yes, do pick out the leaves, but according to Chef, anything is edible. <laughs> but we are the people's chef. I like the strawberries. Yeah. She's mm. taking another bite. I think the noodles aren't too bad. The noodles aren't too bad. Yeah. It's the M&M's that are throwing me off, but with the strawberries and everything, it's, it's passable. It's, passable. it's edible. Smoke inhalation is a dangerous thing, kids. Having tried all five interesting dishes, it's now up to the judges, Tina and Henry, to see who will be crowned the Disaster Chef title. Join us right now for the result. Third place. Third place. Goes to Team Robson and May. After this, it just gets better from here on. So, second place, runner up. Second place goes to, uh, the team is called Simply Special. Oh, Simply Special, that was the hand roll. Yes. The hand roll. Um, announcing the, the winner of today's uh, Disaster Chef event. For JTP um, presents yes. Disaster Chef yes. um, Instant Noodle Challenge. Yes, uh, also shout out to uh, my dad, uh, President, uh, former President Barack Obama. <laughs> we miss you. Uh, the winner goes to... 
Jenny and John. John. Jenny and John. Pizza. Pizza. Glorious scenes of celebration as John and Jenny lift the Disaster Chef trophy that incidentally took me a whole day to make. Congratulations on the win. Please tell me what you're feeling, how you're feeling. Whoa. I feel like I could save that last recipe. Oh, the last recipe. The strawberry one. The strawberry with the ranch. There, there's a way to save it. Well, that wraps up an exciting day of cooking at Josh Takes Photos Studio and the first of the Disaster Chef series. Stay tuned for the next episode of the show and find out what we'll try to cook next. <laughs>